Graphic Design House Digital and I'm going to show you how to create a, your own scrapbooking page using Photoshop Elements 11. So first I'm going to go to my start menu and find Photoshop Elements 11 and it comes up in this box here. There are two options, organizer and editor. Today I'm going to show you how to use the photo editor to make a scrapbooking page. So we'll click on photo editor here. Okay, so this is my editor. If, your, if yours doesn't look like this, it's probably because it's in a different mode. They have these different modes here. There's guided mode and quick mode and expert mode. So I'm in expert mode because that gives you access to the things that you need for digital scrapbooking. I've saved the files that I want to use today on my desktop. So first I'm going to open them. I'm just going to go to open and I'm going to go to my desktop. Okay. And I have my files. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key and choose all the files I want. These are the ones I'm going to use to make the page. I might not use every one. I'm just going to open them. Hit open. And, and they're all open and they're down here in the project bin, the photo bin. You can see they're all right there and they're all in the center window. And then I have the layers panel open on the right. And you can go to it. If you don't see it, go to window and then choose layers. Um, so I just unchecked it. Now when I check it, it's there, see? So now I have these pictures and I want to combine them and make a scrapbook page. So I'm going to go to File, New, File, Blink File. And you can see under Preset, there's a scrapbooking option. So I just check that. If you don't have that, you can use these numbers here. The size is 12 inches by 12 inches, width and height, and then the resolution is 300 pixels per inch, and the color mode is RGB, and the background is white. So I'm just going to say scrapbook page for my name and hit OK. So this is my page. It's plain white. It's empty. There's a, this is my layers panel. So this is the layer, just background. There's nothing on it. So now I want to get these items from my photo bin on it. Um, and you can think of it as making a sandwich where you have each layer and you put the bottom layer on and then the next one above that and the next one above that, right? So we're going to do the same thing. Um, so I'm going to choose I know what these files are but I can go through there are a couple different things the live laugh and love are stickers there's the photo of Bryn and some plain cream paper um, some flower stickers and some pattern paper the pattern paper and the stickers come from the imagination live laugh love set and we've got a photo of Ethan and the blank scrapbook page so I'm gonna start at the bottom like I, if I were gonna make a sandwich I'd put the bottom piece of bread on first um, so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with the stripes I'm just gonna drag it up and let go and you can see it's here they have these little squares around it um, and that's just for resizing. It's fine the way it, it is like that. And then I can make the next layer. I'm going to put some cream paper on next. I'm just dragging it up and let go. Okay. Now, I want the stripes to show behind, a little bit of them to show behind. So I'm just going to resize. Um, you can just go to any of these corners. And you'll get the double arrow. And you just resize it. 
and you can drag it up and kind of space it. I'm going to make it centered and more closer to the top than the bottom. Hit check and that'll set in the resizing. Okay, next layer. I'm going to put this live sticker up. Drag it and drop it. It says, do I want to convert the document to color mode? Yes. Um, and then I'm just going to move that there, right? And I'm going to put another paper down. Okay, I'm going to use this flowered paper. Um, drag it and drop it up. And I'm going to resize it down a ways. This is one of the really cool things about digital scrapbooking is the resizing that you can do. You can take the same paper you can use it over and over again. You can resize it big, resize it small, crop it, shape it, whatever you want. So flexible. Okay, so I'm going to hit the check to commit the resize. Um, now I'm going to get Bryn's picture and put that up next. It's my next layer in the sandwich. And I'm just going to resize her. I'm going to make her fit inside this other piece of paper. Um, I'm just going to make her be about the same width. And this is where you just get to do what you want to do. The best part about doing scrapbooking like this is you get to do what you want. The way you want it. And if you don't like it, it's not like you cut it. You can't ever get back to it because you can always go back to the original file. So you can you can make mistakes. You can use the undo button if you don't like something you've done. Okay, I'm going to hit check to commit the resize. And so that's Bryn. She's on there. Um, I'm going to add those other live, laugh and love stickers. Drag and drop. Okay, whatever that is. Drag and drop this one. Okay. I'm just going to place it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to place the laugh. That's really pretty where that is, though. I was going to move it somewhere else, but I really like that. I'm just going to center it. I like it when it kind of covers her picture like that. That's cool. Okay. Just like that. Um... And now you can see I actually clicked on the layers over here on the right. You can get to every stack of your sandwich just by clicking on it. Okay, so the love here, I'm going to just drag it down a tiny bit more and bring it over a little. Okay, and now there are some flowers I wanted to add. Take the flowers, drag and drop it up. Okay, whatever. And I'm just going to stick the stickers just down here. Well, hmm, what do you think? It really doesn't. You know, I could be whatever I want. I'm going to make it a little smaller. And... I'm just clicking on the different layers to get the different marks because I want to be able to see the sticker without having the corners in the way. Very good. Okay, so I'm just going to um, I'm just going to put this sticker just like that. Okay, click out and that's cute. Okay. So let's take a look at it where we can kind of view, let's zoom it in, view, zoom in, and see what this looks like. We've got the live, laugh, love, we kind of have her graphics, a little, her picture's a little bit smaller. We have the little brown edge on the edge. 
Um, that's fine. I like it that way. Um, you can kind of reposition things if you want to put them somewhere else and um, and leave it like that. Okay, so now it's time to save it. So I'm just going to go to File, Save. Now, when you save digital scrapbook files, you need to save it as a Photoshop native. If you think that you're ever going to want to come back in and edit something, I would always keep the Photoshop native file around. Um, you can just hit save. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, and the desktop is here. So I'm just going to save it here. Scrapbook page. Save. Now, if you want to save it and upload it to the internet, you can't use the PSD file. You need a web version of it. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to go to File Save for Web. So whenever I save something, I save it to save it the original version with all the layers. And then I save the final version flattened for the web. So Save for Web. It says Slow Performance. Are you sure you want to continue? I say yes. It really doesn't make it all that slow for me. Okay, so this is the Save for Web dialog box, and I'm not going to save it as a GIF. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. You always want to save scrapbook pages as JPEGs, 90% of the time. And it says new size. Um, and for me, I it never really has to be bigger than 900 pixels. You can have it be 600 pixels. But you can leave it at 900. I'm just going to leave it at 900. So you can see it like zoomed out, which is fine. You can see down here it has the zoom level. So we've got like fit in view. You can see the whole thing. You can go to the zoom level and fit on screen. That went to the whole screen. I'm just going to resize this down so you can see it in the little window that we have on YouTube. Okay, so it's a JPEG and it's at 60, which is fine. You can see what size this is. So if you're your uploader, if you upload it to a place that has a size limit, you can reduce this um, by changing the JPEG quality. You can just go like down low and it, what it does is it compresses everything. You can see this quality is 7 and you can see the original is here. And the new is here. And that actually doesn't look too bad, but you can see how there's pixelation all over her face. Um, so if I actually, I kind of like it up here. So I'm going to hit save. And scrapbook page dot JPEG. Hit OK. And that's my saved version. So um, that's pretty much the basics of how to make a web page. I'm going to finish up this tutorial and then do one on brushes since we've had a few people in, on Facebook asking about brushes. So come find that tutorial and watch that. Um, have a great day. Bye.